Okay, so this video is about how to factor uh, trinomials, ax squared plus bx plus c. I'm just using trial and error. Uh, this is actually my favorite method of factoring, except sometimes if I find if I get frustrated, I like to use something a little more systematic, but I'd rather do most of my factoring this way, just kind of playing with numbers. It feels like a little game to me. Okay, so when we have tri trinomials like this, with an x squared term, an x term, and then a constant term, um, they're pretty much always going to factor into two binomials, just like when we did it with only one x squared. And it's kind of the same idea. Uh, we're just going to play with uh, play with the numbers here um, until we can get it to come out to 3x squared um, minus 5x minus 2. Uh, the ones we want to focus on first are the a term, the x squared term, and then the constant term, the c term. And then we'll sort of uh, mess around and play with them until we can get the middle term to come out right. So I'm just going to make a guess here, um, and then we'll check it. Um, and then if it's wrong, I'll just make another guess, and we'll check it, and so on. Okay, to get 3x squared, I'm basically going to want an x and a 3x. Okay? And then to get negative 2, I'm going to want a 1 and a 2, and one will be positive and the other will be negative. Okay, so maybe if I put, I don't know, I'll try a 1 here and a 2 here. And I'll try positive and negative. Okay. So just like before, I would recommend you do this in pencil, but just to make sure it shows up on the screen, I'm going to do it in marker and then scribble it. Okay, so this gives us 3x squared minus 2x plus 3x minus 2. So this almost looks like it's right, but we've got minus 2x plus 3x, which is just plus 1x. Okay, so that's wrong. Um, now, one thing we have to guess here, I guess I should put maybe little question marks over these equals, um, is if we try x plus 1 and then 3x minus 2, we also have to try with the same numbers in the other order. Um, and by that, this is what I mean. I mean the x minus 2 here, and then 3x plus 1 here. So I've left my x and my 3x where they were, and I'm just trying switching these two numbers. And we'll just see if this works. So we get 3x squared, and then plus x minus 6x minus 2. And then, yeah, that's right, because 3x squared, and then this gives us minus 5x minus 2. So this one is, def is actually right. And sometimes you get it first try, sometimes you get it eighth try. And you get better at kind of seeing where the numbers are going to go. Uh -huh. So this is just the check. Oh my, check. Um, so remember what I said in the last video. If your answer, this is the answer here. This is the factored version of that. If that's not in the bottom row, like line, like so if you did a check underneath it, for example, then put a box around the answer so we know where the answer is. So that's the idea. We just play around with the numbers. Um, so let's try this one. We've got 6m squared plus my, plus 13m minus 5. Uh, it's nice if you see a prime number in one of these places because it means there's only going to be like two numbers that will multiply that to that um, and then we can change signs but 5 only has 1 and 5 as factors so the numbers are either going to be 1 and 5, 1 and negative 5 or negative 1 and 5. Okay. The big question here that could is where this 6m squared comes from. It could come from m times 6m, or it could come from 2m times 3m. And you just kind of guess. Just give her a try. So let's try 2m and 3m. And then we'll try uh, 1 and 5. Let's try the 5 here and the 1 here. And then we just get make a guess for signs. I'll put the negative here and the positive here. So is it that? That gives us 6m squared, uh, and plus 2m minus 15m minus 5. Now actually, this is really close to what we want. It's not right, but it's really close, because this is 6m squared minus 13m minus 5. So that was really good luck there, that I'm almost right first try, because I want 6m squared, that's good. And I want plus 13m, and here I've got minus 13m, and then I've got my minus 5. So that's not right, but all we have to do here 
If you get almost right but with the middle term with the wrong sign, just switch your signs and see what happens. 2m, so I'll try 2m plus 5, and 3m minus 1. But that's not right, so I'll cross all that out. And you just erase that, you just put a, cross that minus to make it a plus, and then erase the plus and make it a minus. So check. We've got 6m squared, minus 2m, plus 15m. Minus 5, yeah, that's right, 6m squared, because negative 2m plus 15m is plus 15m minus 5, which is exactly what we wanted. So, that is factored. Remember, that's the answer right there. Okay, I'll do one more. I think you probably get the idea by now. Uh, if you want, it might be a good idea to pause the video, give this one a try, and then sort of see how I go through it afterwards. So here we go. I need to get 2x squared, so that's going to be a 2x and an x. But then the question is, how do I get this 12? Because my options, at least here, everything's positive, so I don't have to worry about signs. But there's a lot of different things to multiply that, that multiply to 12. There's 1 and 12, 2 and 6, or 3 and 4. Um, so I'll just, I'll just start, I guess. I'll try 1 and 12, and then I'll, everything's going to be positive. So this would be 2x squared plus 24x plus x plus 12. So that's too many, too many x's there. So that's not right. And now I'm going to try the same numbers here, but I'm going to switch the 1 and 12. So that's not right. 2x plus 12, and x plus 1. So, is this right? We'll check. We get 2x squared plus 2x plus 12x plus 12. That gives us 14x, and we will only want 11. So that's not right either. Okay, that option's out. So maybe... Let's try 2x plus 2, and then x plus 6. So we've got 2x squared plus 12x plus 2x plus 12. Now that's 14x, that's no good. And then if I switched up my numbers here, wrong again. <laughs> if you find this business, I find I think it's kind of fun and to try to look at the numbers and do it in my mind and see what's going to come out right, which I'm not really doing on the video because it's not, you can't really uh, see what's going on in my mind when I do that, so it's not very educational. Um, but if you find this really frustrating in a bad way, then you can also check out the video about factoring this with decomposition. I think it's called uh, 2B, video 2B. Um, but if you're enjoying this thing, just go for it. Uh, it doesn't take very long, right? There's only six combinations here. Okay, so we got 2x, and I'm just switching these orders. Plus 6, and then x plus 2. We'll see what that gives us. 2x squared plus, that's 4x plus 6x plus 12. Oh, that feels really close, because that's 10x, but we want 11. Now, as I'm doing this, I might notice a pattern. I want an odd number here. Which means that somewhere, when I'm looking for my x term, I have to do an odd number times an odd number, or else there's no way I can get an odd number. So this actually gives me a hint, if you happen to notice this. It gives me a hint for what to try next. I mean, there aren't that many options left. Those ones are both out now. It's, I've got to do... I've only got one odd number out of 3 and 4, and I've got to do that times 1 to get an odd number. If this doesn't make sense, it's okay. But it can save you time. The more you notice patterns, the f like less brute force you have to do. So let's try this. That's okay, that was one. two x squared plus eight x. Yes, plus three x plus twelve. So that one is right because that eight x plus three x is eleven x. There we go. So you do this within a week, sir. I hope, and then your final answer will be this right here.
Okay, thanks.